Good morning, everybody. Day six of my Carolina vacation. I'm heading out to Clemens Dome on the Appalachian Trail. Should be there in about an hour and a half. Traffic looks pretty clear. Some rain is passing through, so hopefully it's not raining when I get out there because it is a little bit of a walk up to the observation deck. So, all right, I'll catch you guys uh, when I get, get, get on the road. Hey guys, just passing through the old town of Maggie Valley. Pretty cool drive. Eh, great, freaking rain. All I ask is for it to hold out when I get up to the old trail for the observation deck at Klingon's Dome. But I got my jeans and hoodie, need be. Probably gonna put them on anyway. At 6,000 feet, you're going up for a. Uh, ooh, there's a candy store. Jelly beans. I'll have to see if that's open on the way back. Then I can. I don't have to worry about going to that one. That, uh, that little mall in Asheville. Ugh. Got a little bit of heartburn this morning. Just love how it comes on randomly. No reason for it at all. Just random. Gem mine. Interesting. Got another 30 more miles to go. That way by 1016. I really should stop for breakfast, but I got stuff I want to try it in the Asheville. Really good burger place with pork belly that you can add to the, the um, burger and if there's egg then that's like the best thing ever ghost town village interesting Starting to climb a little bit. Looks like it. Coming into the mountains. What? The Rudy? Rudy Coaster? That's funny. Santa Land. Or Santa's Land. Interesting. Well, I don't have time for that today, unfortunately. I want to get back to Asheville. Huh. Elk Crossing, or Moose Crossing. I think that was Elk. I wonder if I'll see one. Also, I wonder if I'm going to see a bear. Even now, I still have not seen one in the wild while, while I'm out driving around. Probably not. But you never know. Apparently, they're pretty prominent in uh, the Smokies. Alright, guys. I'll, um. Wow, that's a nice view. I'll catch you uh, when I make the turn and uh, get on the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. See hey guys, I'm on the Blue Ridge Parkway again. I guess this is 
the Great Smoky Mountains section of it. My ears just popped. So we're definitely climbing. So weird that your ears can pop inside a car. The whole thing with pressure. Nobody out here today, which is nice. Glad I went on a Thursday. Man, shut that off. It's making noise. Wow, man. It's crazy. Before. I want to see a bear crossing one of these roads. Or an elk. Wow, that's crazy. Put my camera again. I should stop and get pictures along the way, but. <coughs> First car I've seen since I turned onto this road. Wow. Pretty impressive. have been fond of saying that the dead speak, but we hear them with our noses. Dusander picked the spot in the cellar's north corner and went to work. The dimensions of the grave were two and a half feet by six feet. He had gotten to a depth of two feet, half deep enough, when the first paralyzing pain struck him in the chest like a shotgun blast. He straightened up, eyes flaring wide. Then the pain rolled down his arm. Unbelievable pain as if an invisible hand had seized all the blood vessels in there and was now pulling them. He watched the spade tumble sideways and felt his knees buckle. For one horrible moment he felt sure that he was going to fall into the grave himself. Somehow he staggered backward three paces and sat down on his workbench with a plop. There was an expression of stupid surprise on his face. He could feel it, and he thought he must look like one of those silent movie comedians after he'd been hit by the swinging door or stepped in the cow paddy. He put his head down between his knees and gasped. Fifteen minutes crawled by. The pain had begun to abate somewhat, but he did not believe he would be able to stand. For the first time, he understood all the truths of old age which he had been spared until now. He was terrified almost to the point of whimpering. Death had brushed by him in this dank, smelly cellar. It had touched Dusander with the hem of its robe. It might be back for him yet, but he would not die down here, not if he could help it. He got up, hands still crossed on his chest as if to hold the fragile machinery together. He staggered across the open space between the workbench and the stairs. His left foot tripped over the dead wino's outstretched leg, and he went to his knees with a small cry. There was a sullen flare of pain in his chest. He looked up the stairs, the steep, steep stairs. 
twelve of them. The square of light at the top was mockingly distant. Ein, Kurt Dusander said, and pulled himself grimly up onto the first stair level. Zwei, drei, vier. It took him twenty minutes to reach the linoleum floor of the kitchen. Twice on the stairs the pain had threatened to come back, and both times Dusander had waited with his eyes closed to see what would happen, perfectly aware that if it came back as strongly as it had come upon him down there, he would have shoving. Todd grabbed it, ran back to the grave with it, and threw it in. Then he started to shovel again. He covered the shoe, the legs, everything. When all the dirt was back in the hole, he slammed the spade down repeatedly to tamp it. Then he grabbed the rake and ran it back and forth, trying to disguise the fact that your fear had been recently turned. Not much use. Without good camouflage, a hole that has been recently dug and then filled in always looks like a hole that has been recently dug and then filled <coughs> in. Still, no one would have any occasion to come down here, would they? He and Dusander would damn well have to hope not. Todd ran back upstairs. He was starting to pant. Dusander's elbows had spread wide, and his head had sagged down to the table. His eyes were closed, the lids a shiny purple, the color of asters. Dusander! Todd shouted. There was a hot, juicy taste in his mouth, the taste of fear mixed with adrenaline and pulsing hot blood. Don't you dare die on me, you old fuck! Keep your voice down, Dusander said without opening his eyes. You'll have everyone on the block over here. Where's your cleaner? Less toil, top job, something like that. And rags, I need rags. All that is under the sink. A lot of the blood had now dried on. Dusander raised his head and watched as Todd crawled across the floor, scrubbing first at the puddle on the linoleum, and then at the drips that had straggled down the legs of the chair the wino had been sitting in. The boy was biting compulsively at his lips, champing at them almost like a horse at a bit. At last the job was finished. The astringent smell of cleaning <coughs> filled the room. There is a box of old rags under the stairs, Dusanda said. Put those bloody ones on the bottom. Don't forget to wash your hands. I don't need your advice. You got me into this. And did I? I must say you took hold well. For a moment the old mockery was in Dusanda's voice, and then a bitter grimace pulled his face into a new shape. Hurry! Todd took care of the rags, then hurried up the cellar stairs for the last time. He looked nervously down the stairs for a moment, then snapped off the light and closed the door. He went to the sink, rolled up his sleeves, and washed in the hottest water he could stand. He plunged his hands into the suds and came up holding the butcher knife Dusanda had used. I'd like to cut your throat with this, Todd said grimly. Yes, and then feed me to the pigs, I have no doubt of it. Todd rinsed the knife. Yep, those are elf guys. That's pretty cool. Now, if I could just see a bear, I'd be all set. Wow. Cool. Hey, buddy. Good morning to you. Hey there. Good morning. Wow. That was pretty cool to see. Now, now if I could just see a bear, I'd be all set. This trip would be perfect. All right. I'll catch you guys uh, when I get up to the uh, trail for the Klingman Zone observ observation deck. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Got another five miles to the... Uh, I guess the start of Klingman, Klingman, Klingman's Dome ro Road. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if my allergies are kicking in because of the rain kicking up stuff. Gotta say, this has been a pretty cool drive. Seeing those elk was pretty awesome. Watch for fallen rock. Okay. Good to know. Like those? Did they all fall? I hope this rain holds out. It can rain all the way back. I don't even care. I just... 
I'm going to walk up to the observation deck, get some pictures, and then head on back to Asheville for a nice burger for lunch. And then I'm probably going to just go back to the back to the room and just relax until around 7 when uh, I'm going to see the Avengers Endgame. busy it's going to be up here. I'm starting to see more people, but with the rain, who knows. Wow. I wonder how high up I am got to be at least 3,000 feet, which makes me wonder about going up to Clemens Dome, which it's over 6,000 feet, so I'm really interested to see if I'm going to be able to walk up this trail, you know, with the air being a lot thinner. I was reading when I was doing research on this place, Apparently some people suffer from altitude sickness, given that it's high enough, because it's over 6,000 feet. But, you know, that's kind of crazy. You know, I would imagine that with Everest, because that's 30,000 feet. That's five times the size of, of this. It's crazy. Five times the size of the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. Climb up this five times. All right, guys, I'm gonna get you when I get to the uh, turn for Clemens Dome Road. guys coming up for the turn for Clingham's Dome Road. I'm not sure how far up this road goes. I think it's a bit of a drive. It's not by me, because this has been one incredible drive. I would say this is probably, yeah, second time going up to Crater Lake. Okay. Seven miles to Clingham's Dome. And now I'm technically in Tennessee. Very cool. All right, Clingman's Dome Road closed December 1st to March 31st. I can believe it. It's just amazing to me, like, the people that built these roads, it's like, just truly amazing. Glad they did, because I think during all my travel, I like these roads the best, the ones that go up in, into really cool mountains. The engineering behind this is just staggering. I mean, they, they built this when there was nothing here. Like, that's just amazing to me. That somebody came out here, planned this road, and then they built it. Crazy.
like it's getting busy up here. Well, as long as the parking lot for this trail, this observation deck isn't jammed, I should be alright. Alright, I'll catch you guys for the last stretch of this road, or if something of interest comes along. I'm not sure if we're... I don't think we're going to get above these trees, but maybe. Hey guys, coming up to the last part of this road. Wow. Jeez, what a view. Curious to see how busy it's going to be up here. Hmm. Not that busy. Good. Fine by me. Ah. I spoke too soon. I'm gonna just circle around and park down there. Have an easier time getting out. Alright, I'll catch you guys when I start my hike up to the observation guys. Wow. Just wow. Seeing stuff like this it just leaves me speechless. All that land out there. Untouched. Even still, in the year 2019, it's amazing, truly amazing. How long of a walk this is up this trail? It's probably a little longer than Sassafras. Stick. Sure, hope not. Everybody's got cameras these days, taking the same exact pictures. Clingman's Down Trail, half a mile. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad.
It's only a half mile, but pretty steep climb. further up hey guys hey there's the, there's the parking lot that feels like an hour I've been walking for an hour yeah it's a bit of a climb got about 0.2 mile left so about halfway Dome observation deck. My keeps starting to die already, surprisingly. I let the thing charge overnight and then it dies after an hour. Let's see if I can get up to the top before it dies. I've seen video of people that come up here in the winter. I guess they're just in the Appalachian Trail or something and wow man oh man I've seen video of this covered in snow it's pretty amazing hold out cube for Couple more minutes, a couple more seconds. Hey guys, don't know how long this video is gonna be. My cube's already dead, more or less. Just want to get the last little stretch coming back to the parking lot. for that cute day. Hmm, just felt a raindrop. Oh, good. Oh, but it's pad, it's like it's a pillow. It's a pillow. <laughs> that till September I go to California find some other